Hey what's up everyone this is Geet Chauhan and welcome to Future Inbox. First of all I would like to thank you all guys for your subscribes and view because of you I am going to have about 20,000 views for all my videos so I would like to thank you all for that much support. Today we are going to see how we can use a web server and Raspberry Pi to control an LED turning it on and off using a web page. So let's get started. You can see it inside the slide that there is a Raspberry Pi which is an onboard computer which has an ARM processor and a lot of GPIOs. I think 14, 40 GPIOs are there. There are 4 USB ports and a lot of peripherals. It works on a 5 volt supply that is much enough for that much smaller board. We have connected an LED to the GPIO pins as can be seen over here. So whenever we give 5 volts it will turn on and whenever we give 0 volts it will turn off. A web server is there. Uh, the web server I have used is Django which is made in Python. So using that web server there is a web page which is nothing but an HTML page with buttons and some header there nothing much uh, I have made it in bootstrap so this is how simple the project is the web page which we are going to use there is a heading called welcome to internet of things two buttons are there one is green which is LED on button and the other is red button which is LED off there is a block below the buttons showing the LED is and this curly brackets and showing the LED. So whenever we click one of these buttons, according to the state of the LED, this thing will change. The text will change according to the state of the LED. So if the LED is on, it will show the LED is on. The text will change to on. If the LED is off, then the text will be changed to LED is off. This is about the web page we are going to use. The code for the web page which I showed you in the last slide. So there is nothing much special. It is a container. The page header is there and the text is welcome to Internet of Things. Now there are two buttons. One button is success and the other button is of theme danger. These are the labels which defines the theme of that button. So LED on has a theme of success. So the button will be of green color. The LED off has a danger label. So the button will be of the red color. Uh, this is the line breaks. So two lines and one horizontal, uh, sorry two carriage returns and one horizontal line which is given in order to give some padding there is jumbotron which has h3 type of header written that the led is and the state of the led so this is the web page code which we are going to use now, as you can see i have opened up my raspberry pi and i'm inside the directory of the project which is saved you can see these are the files and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the server by typing python manage.py run server it will take some time to start the server and there is an error that the port is already in use so let me start it using an other port let us say 9999 hit enter and here we go the server is started 
on the left side there is a web page it is nothing but our address of raspberry pi the port number and the led if you go here and you will see the same page two buttons and a label on the right side it is the raspberry pi itself these are the gpios and i have connected this led to the gpio 11 of this raspberry pi sorry the pin number 11 it is i think the gpio 17 this is the ground which is pin number 6 which is connected to the cathode of the led and this is the pin number 11 which is connected to the anode of the led using a current limiting resistor now the supply i have given is from the ac adapter which is 230 volt 50 hertz and the dc provided by it is 5 volt there is a wi-fi adapter connected to the usb port which helps me to connect it to the network which i am using one thing to be noticed is this device, this Raspberry Pi, the device from which you are opening this web browser should be connected to the same network. Otherwise, it is not going to work. Now, the server is already running as I have shown you in the last slide. So, whenever you click this button, now LED is off. Whenever you click this button, the LED will turn on when you click this button the LED will turn off and let us see so you can see the LED is turned on immediately when I clicked this LED on button uh, let us see what happens when I click this button all eyes on this LED and you can see the LED has turned off. So this is my mini project about controlling the LED using a web page. This is Geet Chauhan. Like it if you like my video and put the comments and subscribe so that you can see all the other videos of me. This is Geet Chauhan and thank you for watching my video.